Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the collected miscellany for the brand new character in version 2.5. Yay, Miko, I want to say. I'm sure we'll find out in the video. I can't wait to see what she can do. We saw a little glimpse of it, but let's check it out. Yai Miko is a divine kitsune. Yai Miko. As the Electro Archon's familiar and Guji of the Grand Narukami Shrine, her dignified presence commands awe and respect. But as chief editor of the Yai Publishing House and a patron and participant of festivities, her crafty tone keeps you guessing. This leaves many uncertain of how to deal with the majestic but mystifying Miko. In reality, however, if you want to make Lady Guji smile, you needn't deliver an eloquent speech. You simply need to say these four magic words. Something amusing just happened. Whatever would you do without me? Electro. In Yayamiko's eyes, shooing away pesky intruders is a tedious task that does not require her personal involvement. She can leave this to the Kitsune spirits. Only when her curiosity is aroused will Yayamiko show her fabled fox form. Ooh. And summon lightning plummeting from above. Fox form. It's said that those lucky enough to witness this spectacle never live to tell of the tale. With her age and experience, Yaimiko is one of the most learned in the land. Even if the spur of the moment stories she enjoys telling make this hard to believe. When Yaimiko crafts character talent materials, there is a chance to obtain one extra random item of the same region. Oh. This okay. item has the same rarity as the material consumed. Yayamiko's normal attack performs up to three consecutive attacks, dealing electro damage. Her charged attack consumes a set amount of stamina and deals AoE electro damage after a short casting time. Look at that thing. Tap her elemental skill, and Yayamiko moves swiftly, leaving behind a Seisho Sakura. While on the field, it periodically strikes one nearby enemy with lightning, dealing electro damage. Ooh. This skill has three charges, and a maximum of three Seisho Sakura can exist at one time. What? If another Seisho Sakura is nearby, its level is increased, meaning its lightning strikes deal more damage. Initially, Seisho Sakura are created at level one, and the maximum level is three. By strategically spacing the Seisho Sakura, Yaimiko can quickly create an ideal formation to increase their damage level and oh. put her enemy in a difficult position. Oh my god, so it traps them in when there? When the Guji of the shrine recites a blessing, thunder roars in response. After unlocking the talent Enlightened Blessing, Seisho Sakura damage is increased based on Yaimiko's elemental master. I'm always watching. When Yayamiko unleashes her elemental burst, she summons a lightning strike, dealing AoE electro damage. When cast, Yayamiko unseals nearby Seisho Sakura, destroying their outer forms and transforming them into Tenko Thunderbolts, dealing further AoE electro damage. For each Seisho Sakura destroyed in this way, one Tenko Thunderbolt strikes down. After unlocking the talent, the Shrine's Sacred Shade, when Yaimiko casts her elemental burst, each Seisho Sakura destroyed resets the cooldown for one charge of her elemental skill. Oh. Don't let Yaimiko's graceful outward appearance fool you into thinking she is gracious in temperament. For that would be a fatal error. During battle, Yaimiko does not think twice before unleashing Seisho Sakura. She ensnares the enemy in a perilous position, dealing damage and creating opportunities for teammates to attack. When energy is full, Yayamiko unleashes her elemental burst, unseen by Seisho Sakura, and summoning Tenko Thunderbolts to make sure these tiresome foes disappear for good. In storytelling skill, the writers of the Yaya Publishing House are my superior. When I get talking, I tend to speak of true historical events. As you but do. But under Chief Editor Yaya's guidance, works of sheer fantasy thrive. Accounting for the vast majority of popular light novels. Maybe in another few centuries, archaeologists will find books filled with pure fiction. Mistake them for rare historical records and draw all kinds of conclusions from them. Perhaps by then, 
the truth of the past will be consumed as entertaining fiction. Its only purpose, to meet people's need for novelty, save for the sneering of the kitsune. All that will remain is the despairing sighs of a long forgotten. Yeah, I, I love this whole, like, you know, she looks nice on the outside, but on the inside, she's, like, super dangerous. Like, if you saw the character demo, uh, you know, like, what she got, what she does to that guy, it's like, who knows? The screen just went black. Um, but as far as her abilities, you know, it, it looks really cool. Electric. I feel like the Electro type always has, like, flashy moves. And it definitely seemed pretty powerful. I know Electro is not the best out of all the elements. You know, it's still powerful, just not as broken as the other ones. But overall, she looks pretty cool, and it's going to be a really nice addition to the game, I think. But I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you guys have a good time with version 2.5. It should be live now. Until next time, I will catch you guys in the next one.